Hello everyone, this is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. Today we are doing a grammar lesson about when to use the word much and many. So we will look at the most common situations of when we use these two words. Not every situation, but the most common situations. Alright, so let us start. So, let us look at some questions about quantity. How many apples are there? How many eggs are there? And how many bananas are there? So, the first thing we can say is that all of these nouns are countable nouns. A countable noun is a noun that is a separate object that we can count and it can only exist in the singular or the plural. Okay, so it can exist in both singular or the plural. Okay, so if we want to ask a question about quantity using countable nouns, then we use the expression how many, okay? And the noun must go in the plural form and also the verb goes in the plural form. So here we have the noun in the plural with an S apples and the verb. This is the verb to be and it is in the third person plural. Okay. And it is the same here. We have the noun in the plural. We use the expression how many and the verb is in the plural form. How many eggs are there? And the same here. How many bananas are there? So the rule is when we use many, we use many in questions about quantity. And it is with countable nouns in the plural. All right. So we use the expression how many with countable nouns in the plural with the verb in the plural as well. And these are all questions. Let's look at some more questions about quantity. How much milk is there? How much cheese is there? And how much sugar is there? Now this time, all of these nouns are uncountable nouns. So we cannot count uncountable nouns. They are not separate objects. And they are always in the singular. You can notice they are always in the singular. Milk, cheese, sugar. And so, when we are using um, questions about quantity with uncountable nouns, then this time we use the expression how much. All right, we do not say how many, we say how much. And the noun, because it is an uncountable noun, the noun is always in the singular and the verb is always in the singular. So this is the verb to be and this is the third person singular of the verb to be. How much milk is there? And it is a question. And it is the same here. How much cheese is there? 
cheese is singular and the verb is singular and here is the same how much sugar is there we say how much sugar is in the singular and the verb is in the singular so the rule here is we use much in questions about quantity with uncountable nouns all right uncountable nouns so much for uncountable nouns now let us describe a small quantity there aren't many carrots there aren't many pears and there aren't many strawberries so again these are examples of countable nouns and if you look at each sentence we can see that they are all negative sentences aren't is the contracted form of are not are not there aren't many strawberries so they are all negative sentences to describe a small quantity and we use the word many in these situations so we use the word many the noun is in the plural so we put the countable noun in the plural form and the verb is in the plural form this is the third person plural of the verb to be and it is obviously in the negative form and it is the same here there aren't many pairs there aren't many strawberries so the rule here is we use many in negative sentences to describe a small quantity with countable nouns in the plural all right so that is the second um, excuse me that is the second situation where we use the word many so negative sentences to describe a small quantity with countable nouns in the plural now let's look at some um, more small quantities there isn't much pasta there isn't much rice and there isn't much wine so this time they are all uncountable nouns and obviously as we said before uncountable nouns are always in the singular and again they are all negative sentences this is the contracted form of is not isn't isn't there isn't much wine all negative sentences and so when we are describing a small quantity of an uncountable noun in a negative sentence then we use the word much and since uncountable nouns are always in the singular then the verb is always in the singular this is the third person singular of the verb to be and it is the same here again there isn't much rice and the same here 
there isn't much wine. And so the second situation of when we use the word much is we use much in negative sentences to describe a small quantity with uncountable nouns. Alright? So that is the second situation. Now, this is slightly different. Now we want to describe a large quantity using a positive sentence. And on the left we have some oranges and here we have some chocolate. So on the left this is an example of a countable noun because we can say either orange or oranges. We can count an orange. But on the right, this is an example of an uncountable noun. This is chocolate. So, how do we describe a large quantity for a countable noun? Well, this is how we say it. We say there are a lot of oranges. So this time we do not use much or many. We use an expression a lot of. And for countable nouns then the noun must go in the plural form with the letter S and the verb as well. The verb is in the third person plural of the verb to be. So that is correct. And that is wrong. All right. So this is an exception. This is an example of a situation when we do not use the word many. Okay. It is not a big mistake. Okay. But in English, we never really say this, okay? It is slightly correct, but it is better to use a lot of. This is much more common in English to say a lot of. And for uncountable nouns, it is the same. We use the same expression a lot of, but since it is an uncountable noun, um, since uncountable nouns are only singular, there's no S here, then the verb is singular too. So this is the third person singular of the verb to be. So that is correct. And that is wrong. So, we do not use the word much when we are using a positive sentence to describe a large quantity. So, this is a mistake in English and we never really say it. But here, this is much more common. This is how most English people would describe a large quantity. So, the rule here is that we do not use many or much in positive sentences to describe a large quantity. We prefer to use the expression a lot of. Okay. An alternative to a lot of is lots of. We can, so a lot of or lots of is the same. But what is important to remember here is that we do not use many and we do not use much. Okay? So when we use a lot of with a countable noun, then do not forget the noun is in the plural 
with the verb in the plural. And when we use a lot of with uncountable nouns, then the noun is in the singular and the verb is in the singular. So, let us do an exercise. Question 1. I would like you to ask about the quantity of your favourite fruit. And I want you to give me two, um, two types of fruit. So my example is, how many apples are there? How many apples are there? So that is my example. I would like you to give me two other examples. And question two. I would also like you to ask about the quantity of your favourite drink. And I want you to give me two examples. So my example is, how much milk is there? Okay. And question three. I would like you to tell me what food is in small quantity in your cupboard. And I would like you to give me four things. So, in your home, um, I would like you to open your cupboard and to describe a food which is only in small quantity. So, my example would be, there aren't many apples and there isn't much rice. So those are two examples of mine and I will want you to give me four. And so I would like you to do this exercise in the comment section below the video, please. So if you write your answers in the comments below the video, then I will reply to you in the comments and I will tell you if your answers are right or wrong and I will give you the explanation of why. Okay? So, that is the end of today's lesson. Um, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, then you can click here on the screen. Here is my Twitter account. And here are two other videos which you might be interested in. If you want more information about countable and uncountable nouns, then here is an English grammar lesson which describes it in more detail. And on the right, this is a listening exercise. Okay, so that is the end of the lesson. Thank you very much for watching. And my name is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.